Sunday night to you all. Um, as you come in, if you would please say hello. Let me know that the connection is okay and clear and the sounds going on. Because I know from some other businesses, I've been hearing that when they go live, that they're having some issues with uh, the sound actually going through and being muted. So I don't know what's going on. But I haven't been live so this last week, so I didn't know. I have no idea what's going on. And I'm trying to get this shared real quick. We're going to paint. We're going to paint. Happy Mother's Day to you guys. I hope y'all have had a fantastic relaxing day and a blessed day. Uh, I've had mamas on my mind all day. You know, there's all different kind of mamas, you know. Uh, the single mamas, bless your hearts. I don't know how you do what you do. And I'm having a hard time. I'm sorry. The old menopausal eyes, I'm having a hard time seeing that. So that's why I'm trying to get it shared and going on this. So, um. Uh, I can see a little bit better. But mamas, no, it was uh, so many mamas. The single mamas, God bless you. I give you a high five doing what you do. Yeah, that's paint. No, it's not a wound. It's just paint. <laughs> I painted earlier. I've actually painted our uh, the June virtual paint tech design. Woohoo! Woo Signups are now open for that, y'all. For two weeks. Two weeks you have to sign up for that one. This one... Here, I'll pull it down so you can see. So you can see. Okay? Look at that. Super adorable, cute. And here's the thing. What freaks y'all out the most is lettering. You have to put any lettering on it. It's ready. It's cut out and ready for you guys. So I'm so excited about that one. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this shared. So what have y'all been doing today for your Mother's Day? Um... I pretty much didn't do a whole, can we just stop for a minute? I don't know why every time I get on here and go live, Stubby has to start scratching at the carpet. He does, you hear that? He does not scratch at the carpet ever unless I'm on a live. I don't know. Can't explain it. So let me get this shared real quick so we can get the painting. I'm going to be painting the uh, mason jar mug that I showed y'all the other day. So I'm going to be painting that. I had another order come through, so I got a stubby. So that's what I'm going to be painting tonight. Okay? Um, let me get this. I don't, I, I, I can't explain. Can't explain. Um, don't know. Don't know what he's doing. Anyways, but if y'all could please start commenting and if you, Every comment, like, or share, it just helps my page so much with engagement, and I appreciate it. This one's a super cute one. You, uh, you don't want to, you don't want to miss one. This one, this one's super cute. And guys, you can always, I mean, these are like free tutorials right here. These are like free virtual paint takes when I'm doing this live right here. All you gotta do is go on the Facebook page in order to cut out, and you're golden. So it's a deal. Let me get this. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. I do. <laughs> okay, let me set this out of the way real quick. I'm going to set it down here so I can maybe hopefully still try to read. So, as you come on, say, hey, uh, Katie, you just hit her. Oh, Katie, you just got home from vacay. Why would, no. The deer's been thick. You know, today during, um, we come home from church. I mean, it's broad daylight and they just stand out right there by the road. I, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to put this right here and we're going to paint. We're gonna paint this one. I've already, and I don't know why I already started started the straw. Okay, the mug, you know the mug. Anywho, so let's get to painting. Okay, and I know myself a little too well. I, I'm gonna need an apron. Okay, so I'm gonna put on an apron. Um, hey Phyllis, hey Linda. Hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. I didn't do much. I didn't do much. We kind of celebrated yesterday. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna totally confess and tell myself right now, okay? We celebrate Mother's Day with our mamas on Saturday, the day before. I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but I kind of like to have a low-key Mother's Day. Very low-key and relaxing. So we go to church. We did go to Menards. Dropped a bomb. 
buttload of money in my cards. I had to stock up on supplies and uh, came home and I didn't do much. I painted that one. I painted, the, got the tutorial for that one already. Uh, I just got to piece the video together. But that, to me, when I'm, create, when I'm painting a new design, a new cutout, that's not work to me. I love it. It isn't so much fun to me when I have new designs. Okay, so I'm doing pink lemonade in this one too. Y'all know how I feel about yellow. That's why I did not do yellow in any of these. Okay, I'm doing pink lemonade because I don't like painting yellow. It makes me mad. So if y'all would, here we go. Y'all ready to paint? We're going to paint. I'm going to get this sucker going. Let me take y'all down here just a wee bit. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Deb. All right. I'm going to get y'all situated. And I've already put a base coat on the straw. And I've just got some pink and white over here. I'm going to go through here. And start on the pink lemonade. You can do whatever kind of beverage color that you wanted in here. Even tea would be super cute. Tea is a hard color to mix though. But I'm doing pink. Although I do love just plain old yellow lemonade. I'm not painting because I cannot stand to paint yellow, friends. It causes ugly words to go through my head. Anytime somebody tries to order something yellow... I do everything I can to try to change our mind to a different color and tell them what. Oh, you need to think about turquoise. I think that look much better. Not that it would. I just don't want to paint yellow. <laughs> I'm just only tell, so telling on myself. I can't stand paint yellow. Can't stand it. You always got to start off yellow with a, a coat of white underneath. And even then, I don't care what brand you're using. Of course, I use exterior paints that I have mixed up at Lowe's on all mine. Um, it's just, ugh. I don't care if you're using regular craft paints or any kind of whatever you're using. I don't care. Yellow is tough. It is tough. Okay, y'all see, I'm leaving this kind of streaky. I'm not doing it a perfect, perfect, like, uh, it, I'm leaving my paint marbled. When I mean marbled, it's just, it's it's not mixed totally all together, okay? Hey, Jessica, we are doing a mason jar mug, okay? With pink lemonade because painting yellow is against my religion. <laughs> I can't stand painting yellow. It just makes, turns me into an ugly woman, that's it. Yellow makes me ugly. I'm just going through here, and it's swirly, whirly. What is that? Like Elf says, swirly, whirly gumdrops. I don't know. That's very, very free form, and I'm gonna be doing the same way with my mason jar. You know, see that the variations in the color that I left. Okay. So now um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna let sit that over here for a second. And I'm going to go ahead and do kind of the same deal with the uh, with the glass on the mason jar. My mason jar color, it's always uh, way more white. And I use just a little bit of turquoise. It doesn't take a whole lot. And I do the same thing with it. I just kind of marble it. It's just more of a true mason jar color than if you would actually use like white with um, royal blue. This is a better color for you. So I'm just going to go through here and do all the outer, do my outlining first. Since my paintbrush just flaked off. Y'all are probably going to see me on here more often and it's not going to be all painting projects. I've got a ton of VBS projects coming up. i got to get done. And they're super cute. and. What I'm doing is super cute ideas for that you could use for a kid's birthday party or pool party because our whole theme is shipwreck this year. So it's a bunch of beach and stuff like that going on. Lots of fun. If you are local and you need to find something to do for the kiddos for a few days and give yourself a break, I understand that, but they are going to have a fantastic time. Our VBS at Hoswell Baptist Church is 
July, end of July, you're going to have to put up with them in June, <laughs> but July 16th through 19th, 9 a.m. until um, until 11.30. And see, there it goes stubby, scratching up the carpet again. I have no idea. But we got a lot of fun stuff planned for them, so just go ahead, mark that week in your calendar. First thing in the morning, drop them off in your pajamas. We don't care. We don't judge. It's all good. This design here, y'all ignore Stabby scratching on the carpet. He's like a cat. I don't know what happened. It looks a little intense, but it's really not. Because I thought the other day when I was painting the sample up, which I ended up selling on the spot, it was going to take me forever, and it just, it really doesn't. When you do marbling techniques with your paint, it goes by so much quicker. And again, when I mean marble, don't mix your paints up where it's just one consistent color. Leave the variations in it. It gives it uh, a lot more character. Can you see like right there? I've got some of the whites and the darker turquoise coming in right there. It's really cute. Hey, Nicole. My paintbrush keeps flaking off. And that just goes to test the time, y'all. I've had some of my brushes. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh, scared him, y'all. Um, some of my brushes I've had since my, and well, that did a lot of good. Since I started my workshops like four and a half years ago. Seriously, if you take care of them, they will last you forever. Don't let them sit out. Wash them. Here's a trick. When I come home from my workshops, uh, I always have the ladies put them in. I've got containers with uh, Murphy's oil soap and warm water. And I usually, if I have like a night workshop, I'll let them suckers soak in that all night. The Murphy's oil soap does two things. First off, it cleans it really well. Like if you have any brushes, uh, hey Jessica, thanks for joining. Hey Casey. Um, if you have brushes that, even household brushes, like you paint your walls or trim, if you have any brushes that's dried up and a little stiff, you know, the bristles get stiff on you. Um, I hear my husband coming in on the four-wheeler. I don't know if he knows I'm live. He may pop in. Once he knows I'm live, though, he's going to skedaddle real quick. <laughs> he does not like to be on social media. Anyways, it will soften them really well. Just let it soak overnight in warm uh, Murphy's oil soap and warm water. It works great. It really does. Household brushes and these art brushes, it does great on both. I think that was a Pinterest find, actually. I think I found that tip on Pinterest. I think if I go through here and give this one more really little light coat right here, I don't think I'll have to coat the whole thing a second time. Because, and here's a tip. Usually, I've found out... Anytime you marble your paints or you mix a little white in there, it covers really, really, really good. Really good. So, I think... Y'all hear the four-wheeler? That would be Mr. Donnie Poole. Bless his heart. We went to Menards. And, of course, I buy my plywood by four by eight sheets. And to get it in my laser cutter, we had to cut that down to 18 by 24 pieces and so he gets to cut up in the morning 20 sheets into 18 by 24. and here's the thing i have offered to hire somebody to do this but he will not relinquish control of that that's really the only thing that he do, helps me do otherwise i am a one-man band with this operation it's all me which is going to have to change pretty soon. I think I need help, y'all. I think I need help. Hey, Paula. Thanks for joining. So, okay. Yeah, I think that's going to cover just fine. I don't think I need to give it a second coat. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my pink brush that I had over here. And go ahead and do my... I'm doing a pink lemon. I don't know if there's a pink lemon, but I'm doing pink lemon. I'm going to add some yellow highlights to it. I don't, I don't paint yellow. I don't. Unless somebody wants to pay me really good. I cannot stand to paint yellow. Okay. 
Easy. I'm going to go in here with some dark. Whoever share, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hi, Diana. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to you too, girl. Appreciate it. I actually got to celebrate Mother's Day a couple, a few days ago with my son. He took me to Cincinnati to a baseball game. And I know what you're thinking. That doesn't sound like fun. It was perfect for me. The perfect gift for me because I am not, don't judge me here. I am not a Manny Petty flower kind of chick. That's not me. A day at the ballpark is so much more my jam than anything. And he took me, he took off. And we took off Cincinnati and went to the game. And they won. So, there you go. I told him I brought, the, brought him good luck. Because he goes all the time. I mean, he's been like five times already. Hey, Leanne, thank you. It is cute. And it, it looks, now I'm working on some ice cubes. And for the ice cubes, I'm just going with like, it's mostly white. But a little bit of the pink. And I'm just making the squares and then giving them a little dimension. Like that. Easy, easy. This is not hard stuff. And I'm just going to do these at the top because our eyes mostly float at the top, I guess. I'm not a scientist. I don't know. But that's, that's the way mine's doing. That's the way mine's rolling. Okay, so you see I got those up there. Now I'm going to go back with a little bit of the darker. And just add some little dark highlights in there. Not, they're not highlights, low lights. They would be low lights. There we go. With the dark. Just adds dimension. Can y'all see that? Super cute. And now I'm going to go down here and add... Some little swirlies, just for fun. A little white in there. Easy. I had somebody tell me the other day that they could not join my paint and tape because they're, just, they're not an artist. Well, honey, you don't have to be an artist to join my paint and tape party, okay? Because my designs, I pick some pretty simple designs that I want you to be able to achieve something. I don't want you to feel like you was a total failure at it, right? So that's how I roll with it. And it is a step-by-step -step video tutorial. I give you different options. You know, you can go this far and then if the way I teach it, if you want to take your design a step further, this is what you do. It's not it's not rocket science, y'all. It's paint and wood. Okay? And here's the thing. If you do something you totally don't like it, it's paint and wood. Dry it. I'm just giving this a second little coat, touching up, touching up some of my imperfections. Yes, I have imperfections as well. We all do. We're not God. Okay. Okay. While that dries for just a minute, I'm going to work on a lemon. Now I'm, I need a little bit of yellow. So did anybody do something totally... Did anybody get totally surprised for Mother's Day today? That's what I like to hear. Is when you're just totally blown out of the water by something. I'm going to take some yellow. Stubby! Stubby! Don't do that. Okay. We're making it look just like a wheel. This is not hard. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a few stubby. And now some swirls down the wedges. 
I swear to y'all, he only does this when I'm on here live. And this may not make sense to y'all since I'm doing yellow on it, but I'm so good with it. No, but I got a jigsaw and a sander. Oh my gosh. Diana, that is my kind of gift right there. Hey, Peggy. I'm more of a practical guy. That's the way I roll. I hardly ever use a jigsaw anymore, though. But I do have my own jigsaw. I've got my own sanders. I've got my own, uh, I've got two drills. That's how I roll. Okay, let me see. Let me see if this is, this is probably dry enough. I can go ahead and go ahead and do, I'm gonna do some little um, like slanted stripes up the straw. Stay. green I think hold on I, I want to add just a touch of dark green just to make it a little bit different color let me grab it and I told y'all Donnie came in and went straight to the bedroom because he didn't want me calling him out at all don't have that one this is really really cute um I have some lime green. I just put a little bit of the darker green because I just I want to get a little bit different color green. The lime green that I have is a little bit too close to the yellow that I'm going to be using. So that one just made it more of a pretty like spring green. You see that? Alright. Now I'm going to turn this my way just so I can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go in with a Water flat brush. And I'm kind of arching it, as you can see, and making a slant up at the same time. I need stand up for this. And obviously I can't talk and do this part at the same time. I think this one is pretty stinking versatile. You can do tea, pink lemonade, yellow, which I wouldn't suggest yellow. <laughs> Just my opinion on that one. Because it is a pain. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take some yellow. Hi, Renee. Thank you. Oh, Mama Kay just said she won't call me. It seems like <laughs> I told her, well, go, I'm going live. Don't call me. It seems like every time I go live, she starts to call me. And she calls me over and over. So I warned her. Y'all, Mama Kay is the one I get my artsy stuff from. Okay. Now... Let me do a little touch up. I smeared a little paint over here. Just touch that up. It's still pretty stinking wet, y'all. So I'm gonna go. I can go ahead and do my black uh, accents and highlights, but I'm gonna have to wait and do the actual um, lettering until after I let it dry really good. Y'all think probably I'm crazy to add black to this. But I always, always, always suggest to add a little black to pretty much every one of the door hangings. There's a few exceptions. Like this one's a lot of light. There's no real dark. The darkest thing we have on here is the green. So we need a little bit more of a contrast in here. And people think I'm crazy when they bring their door hanging for me to do some enhancements. Air quotes. Enhancements. We call them enhancements. Um, at the workshops and I, they say, what does it need? And I tell them it needs black. They think I am crazy, and I'm not, because black actually makes all your colors pop up more and make them even brighter, if that makes any sense to you guys. So, don't be scared to use black. It's not going to darken your uh, painting. It's just going to add to it. 
So I'm going to go through here and add. And I'm using a number eight round brush. That's what I use for all of my highlights and low lights. And enhancements if you want if you will okay this stuff is not that hard you don't you tend some people tend to make it a lot more difficult than it needs to be it's really not I like to keep my design simple especially if you want because I do sell the uh, printable templates on my website as well where if you have your own jigsaw and you want to cut your own stuff out and don't order the door, the blanks for me that's fine I have those on there as well but I like to keep my designs a little bit simpler with you folks in mind because I remember the days I remember the days of cutting out and I always try to keep my designs just a little less intricate because oh my word cutting these out by hand y'all when I started out it is torture, and that is no joke. I am not kidding you. It was awful. I wanted to cry some days. I mean, I, it was nothing for me to be working 16-hour days between cutting, and when you cut with a jigsaw, you got to sand those suckers. So, yeah. I like to keep my designs there. I do have some that are way more intricate, but for the most part, I, I'll... I like to keep you folks in mind because I know I remember those days. And when starting out, you that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. Just now see how this black is just making it all pop a little bit more? Really cute. Don't be scared to add black to it. And always really don't be scared to load your brush when you're doing like all this. The little fancy schmancy marks. I mean, let me take a look see at it. I think, I think the comments have stopped. Hold on, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything, y'all. Let me see. Nothing's coming through right now. Oh well, we'll see. Hopefully, it's still working. But yeah, you can order this one painted, or you can order the blank. Like I said, this is like a free virtual right here. All you got to do is order the blank. Or you can order the template. The printable template that you print out and just take together and cut out and trace it and you're ready to go. Any of them. Okay. Now see? How fast was that? I wasn't on here that long, I don't think. Maybe 30 minutes? Maybe 30 minutes. Hey, Renee. Hey, Tammy. So... That's it. It's very, very wet because I just kept working while I was wet. I didn't use a hair dryer at all. So I'm going to have to let this sucker dry really, really well. Really well. Before I add my lettering. And actually, I need to go back and look at the order and see what she wanted for the lettering. I don't know. I need to look at that. So let's take a look see at this. Hey, Jessica. Thanks. Isn't it cute? And I mean, you can change it up and do any colors that you want. This light is like blinding me. So yeah. Super cute, very versatile. You can even do this. Um, I just this just popped in my mind for winter time. This could be like a hot cocoa and a, make this into a marshmallow. That's totally doable too. That just just popped in this brain. This brain's something I'm telling you right now. So there you go. There's that one. And don't forget, today is launch day. Look at this. Look at that. Today is launch day of the new virtual. You only have two weeks to sign up for this puppy. Okay, the link is in the post earlier, but if you need to know, um, comment and I can post it. So there's this, but both, you can find all this on paintwood.com. You can get the link to this to sign up for the virtual. Uh, do you seal your door hangers? Uh, Christina, no, I don't have to seal my door hangers. I am using exterior paints, okay? I use exterior paints that I have mixed up by the gallons at Lowe's. Yes, the hot cocoa would be cute. So, I don't have to. If you're using regular craft acrylics, spray, seal the suckers. And I'm just going to be honest right here. My virtual paint tape people that paint with me uh, every month, I ha I'm not an apple barrel paint fan. Okay? I know some of y'all just took a big gasp of breath right then when I said it. 
I am not an Apple Barrel paint fan. There, I admit it. It's, I don't, I, I just don't like it. All right. If it's all you have close to you and it's easily accessible to you, use it. But be prepared. You're going to have to do multiple coats. Walmart now, I know, is carrying Folk Art brand. Folk Art brand's very good. The Martha Stewart brand, um, it's a little bit different in consistency, but it, it is, has good coverage. It's a good paint. But any craft acrylic you use, you're going to have to spray seal that. And I highly suggest at least a couple of coats of spray sealer. And I like, uh, I think it's Rust-Oleum. Yeah, Rust-Oleum, I use their spray paint and everything. It is a good sealer. So that's what I highly suggest for that, especially to my paint tech people. Uh, what is the name of the paint you buy? I buy it at Lowe's. I think it is, of course, I buy it by the gallons. I go through gallons. It is, um, well, let me see. I just happen to have 10 gallons over here. Uh, Olympic One. Exterior. That's what I get. See? I have all my colors. I have 1, 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 gallons of paint sitting over here on the shelf in my craft room. That's what I use because I, I go through it. And especially uh, in doing workshops, that way I want them to leave with a finished product. I don't want them to have to spray seal it or anything like that. Um, all these questions are going to be answered because let me tell you, I'm starting a biz group. Okay? Um, I'm working on an ebook right now for people who wants to do DIY workshops. It's not a painting technique. You need, if you want to get into the business, you need to already be painting. I'm not, it's not going to be that. That's what the virtual is for. Okay. The virtual monthly virtual is to learn new techniques in painting. And I'm just sliding around everywhere, but the biz group is coming soon. Uh, the ebook should be out here shortly. You can get that. That's a great starter, but to get in depth and tell you everything that I know and what I wish I knew four and a half years ago. Um, uh, yeah. I'm spilling my guts about everything. So, be watching for that. I'm super excited about it. Okay? So, that's it for Sunday night. Don't forget, start signing up. Two weeks. That's all you got. Two weeks to sign up. It's going to be a good one. Okay? Y'all have a fantastic week. I will see y'all later this week. And get ready. Go, go get a good night's rest. Tomorrow's Monday. Bye, guys.